Good morning. The US stocks recovered despite grim reports on new home sales and durable goods. The data is the latest in the series of recent economic indicators pointing to a slowdown in the US. A few pessimists are even talking about a double dip and deflation. Whether that happens or not, only time will tell, but till then, the markets will remain edgy. Other advanced economies like the European Union, UK and Japan are also facing their own issues and may take a few months to fix them. In short, the overall sentiments will continue to be at the mercy of the external cues, even though the domestic fundamentals are pretty strong. We expect a positive start following the overnight gains on Wall Street. Asian markets are too trading higher, but not by a great deal. So there is a chance of the markets slipping back into the red later. Today being the FNO expiry, there sure could be some extra volatility. The Nifty could head for 5,600 if it sustains above 5,550. On the way down, it could slip below 5,400 if the world markets deteriorate further. Bajaj Corp, which got listed recently, will announce its results today. The Board of Researcher Mines and Minerals India Limited will consider an approved conversion of 65 lakh warrants into equity shares. FIIs were net sellers of Rs 3.65 billion in the cash segment on Wednesday provisionally, according to the NSC website. The local funds were net sellers of Rs 2.67 billion. In the FNO segment, the foreign funds were net buyers at Rs 13.76 billion. FIIs were net buyers of Rs 9.03 billion in the cash segment on Tuesday. And mutual funds were net sellers of Rs 6.41 billion on the same day. Sales of new homes in the US fell to all-time record low in July as demand from consumers dried up after tax breaks for home buyers expired in April. Separately, stronger demand for airplanes translated only into a 0.3% increase in durable goods orders in July, underscoring broad weakness in other categories. Data in Europe will move positive on Wednesday after Germany's IFO Business Sentiment Index continued to climb and hitting its highest level since mid-2007. Meanwhile, the yen has weakened for a second day against the euro on speculation that Japanese policymakers will take steps to curb the currency's advance. The yen also declined amid speculation that central bankers from around the world will signal at a meeting starting today their intention to maintain stimulus measures to boost the global recovery. The dollar index fell, snapping a five-day gain as traders increased bets that the Federal Reserve will take more steps to shore up growth in the US. The civil liability for Nuclear Liability Bill 2010 was passed by Lok Sabha on Wednesday by a 252 by 25 majority after the left pressed for a division. Banking regulator has said that the banks could change the terms under which they have lent to airlines. Copyright board approved a revenue sharing arrangement between radio broadcasters and music companies under which radio broadcasters will now pay 2% of their net advertising revenue to all music providers as royalty. Cipla will invest 10 billion rupees in the immediate and near future in factories expansion of existing facilities and infrastructure. HDIL has objected to Golden Tobacco's renewed plans to sell four acres of its land in the Andheri area of Mumbai, expected to be worth around 1 billion rupees. The promoters of Religare Enterprises made an open offer to acquire about 28 million shares of financial services company at 457 rupees a share. Pyramil HC is likely to consider a buyback of shares along with special dividend after it gets the proceeds deal with about slabs. Rulan's infrastructure is gearing up to bid for new international airports in Navi Mumbai, Pune, Noida and Goa. Brigid Group plans to raise private equity of about 200 to 400 million US dollars for its retail and commercial developments which are part of its integrated project Brigid Gateway. Moving on to the recommendations, the trading strategies are a buy on HCL Technologies. We advise buying the stock above levels of Rs. 415 for a target price of Rs. 427 and the stop loss is to be placed at Rs. 409. And a buy on HCL Soft Systems. We recommend buying the stock above levels of Rs. 205 for a target price of Rs. 217 and a stop loss is to be placed at Rs. 200. The derivative strategies are Long Siemens September future in the range of Rs. 718 to Rs. 720 for a target price of Rs. 738 and the stop loss is to be based at Rs. 708. And 
Long Nifty 5,500 September call in the range of rupees 88 to 90 for a target price of rupees 120 and the stop loss is to be placed at rupees 81. Thank you and have a great day ahead.